What's up, guys? Guys, I'm gonna try to maintain my cool in this video. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to maintain my cool in this video, man. Now, as you can see, I am in my truck. Uh, the fight ended a few minutes ago. Uh, I was traveling while the fight was going on. Uh, you know, I was watching it while I was driving. <laughs> All right, uh, full disclosure. Um, listen to it, watching it as best I could. Guys, uh, I don't know what the reaction is going to be to this fight, but uh, my man Bill got robbed. Right? <laughs> he got my man got robbed, man. Before I even get into the fight, Dimitri Bill not only did he have to fight Archer Baturbiev, but he had to fight. ESPN's biased, slanted ass commentary. I like Tim Bradley. I respect Tim Bradley. He was he was a a very good fighter, a champion. His commentary is very biased towards uh, top ranked fighters. All right, guys. Tim, according to Tim Bradley, Arthur Bradley BL was. He was the greatest thing of all time. He was this and that. He was doing this and that. He was so strong. And Bivol couldn't do anything right. Oh, I'm not seeing any power from Bivol. He's not going to win the fight this way. I've seen Bivol perform better. Blah, blah, blah. Demetri Bivol was getting zero credit from the commentary team, all right? Until they put that graphic up halfway through the fight that showed that Better be it was only landing like 14% of his punches, all right? Then Tim Bradley couldn't say shit. His, his damn mouth was shut, all right? Terrible on the commentary. When we have these fights, can we please have an unbiased uh, commentary team? Can we have maybe somebody from The Zone, somebody from ESPN? You know, can we do that, please? Because they were clearly slanted and favoring uh, Arthur Better be it, all right? And nobody was giving Demetri Bivol credit for what he was doing. Guys, Demetri Bivol won this fight. Now, I didn't judge the fight because I was driving. Maybe I will go back and watch the fight again and uh, do a scorecard. But, guys, from what I was seeing, from what I was witnessing with my eyes, Demetri Bivol was outsmarting uh, Arthur Baturbiev just like I thought he would. He was not standing in front of the guy to get, you know, to get wailed on, to get knocked out. Uh, you know, Better Bia was having problems, landing power punches. He was out of position. Uh, I mean, Demetri Bilva had a smart strategy of moving around the ring. Some people might say he was running. No. It was hit and not get hit. He was moving around the ring. Arthur Better Bia was getting tired. To the point, guys. I think the most key moment in this fight was in the sixth round. I think Dimitri may have landed a, a combo or something, but he sensed that Better Be was getting tired, guys. He sensed the guy was getting tired, uh, and that's when he threw, like, like I think his first, like, real big flurry combination in the fight, and Better Be had no answer. When Better Be went to his corner, his, his corner was... was was trying to convince him that he was not tired, all right? That's how bad off he was. Uh, and from that point on, he was just going downhill in my eyes. Uh, I think it was the, the 10th round, the 10th, I think it was the 10th round, where he came out kind of on the front foot, but then he started backing up as the round went on. I think in that round, Demetri Bivol landed a, a, you know, a very nice body shot. But um, guys, this fight, man, look, if if better be have won this fight, if if the fight was as the judges say, one guy had a draw, you know, okay, I think that's the best better be have could have gotten this fight. Guys, why did the, did the live odds go in Demetri Bill's favor? Initially, he was favored, all right, and you know, as, in the live odds. Then, as the fight was going on, as the ESPN bias commentary was was being put out there. People were starting to bet uh, Viterbiev like he was winning the fight, like he could win. Then as the rounds went on even more, Bill was like a minus 180 favorite in the live odds, and then Better Bill was like a plus, I forget what it was, all right? So clearly, the public, the odds makers, 
they thought the Wolves were winning the fight. I thought the Wolves were winning the fight. I thought he was out smarting the guy. I thought he was out laying the guy. I thought he was out throwing the guy. Um, you know, it was a, a boxer's fight, man. At times, yes, he did trade with the guy when he thought he had opportunities to put it on up to Turbiev. He did and pushed him back. And Tim Bradley was like, why is he doing that? That's a mistake. You shouldn't do that. Blah, blah, blah. No, I disagree. He was he was picking his spots. He was being aggressive when he felt it was best. Uh, and then near the end of the fight, uh, I think it was like the 11th round, Tim Bradley was being critical. He thought that, that Bill was getting tired, that he was, uh, you know, I, I don't know. He, he thought that Baturbia was coming on. Guys, I thought Demetri Bilbo was was basically pulling a rope of dope on uh, Baturbiev, man. He had his he had his uh, his arms up. He was letting Baturbiev. It in my opinion, I thought he was like like letting the guy punch himself out. You know, uh, use energy, and then I felt that he will come on after that, maybe even try to stop the guy. But um, I disagree with this decision. Uh, I believe from what I saw, I believe despite the biased commentary. That was bullshitting off, in my opinion. I thought Demetri Bill was the better guy. He was the better boxer. He was the better mover. He was better defensively. He had better be whiffing and missing. You know, what, what happened to the Canadian Hulk, the Canadian Superman? Why he didn't knock out this guy? Why he didn't, you know, why he didn't have this guy fall and stumbling all over the place, all right? I thought Bill fought a hell of a fight. Uh, and it's unfortunate, man, that uh, he did not get this decision. Uh, this should have been the cherry on top of a uh, Hall of Fame career. Uh, you know, let me know what you guys think, man. Maybe, maybe my opinion will change when uh, when I watch the fight again and do a scorecard. I doubt it, but uh, at some point I will, and maybe I will come back on and uh, you know tell you guys how I scored the fight and break it down even more. But uh, I thought Bill was was the better guy from from what I saw. All right. Uh, you know, the punch stats at the end of the fight, the numbers were close what ESPN showed. Uh, hell, even they slightly favored uh, Demetri Bivol. But um, I think I think that Better BF got this decision simply because he was the guy that was coming forward and um, Bivol fought a, you know, a, a back foot boxer fight. Let me know what you guys think, man. Do you think Better BF won this fight or do you think uh, Bivol won and got robbed? I know he he definitely got robbed via commentary because hella bias, man. It was sickening. I, it was sickening to hear them call this fight. Please, Turkey Allen Shake, somebody, uh, Riyadh season. When y'all had these fights, man, should have a commentator uh, a commentator from every broadcaster, man, to uh to call these fights because that was that was bad. That was bad. It was I think it was swaying, uh, you know, some of the public. All right, so. That's it. That's my initial reaction. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, I hope you made money off this fight. Uh, I certainly didn't. Uh, I, I mainly played props. Uh, I didn't really load up on uh, Bivol on the money line because there really was no value for me. Uh, but I played props and specials, and uh, I didn't profit off this fight. But, hell, I, honestly, I just wanted Bivol to get the decision, man, because I thought he deserved it, even though... Um, you know, I had some like some sort of like hedge type bets. I had, you know, better be of seven through twelve. I thought that was his only chance. I didn't think he won a decision. I didn't think he would knock the guy out uh, early in the fight. I thought if he won this fight, it would have to be by stoppage between seven and twelve, and uh, he didn't do that. All right. I also played the draw, uh, and I, I could have profited good off the draw, but again, I would rather bivol get the decision that I, I feel that he deserves all right now again maybe my opinion will change when I watch the fight uh, uh you know sit and do a scorecard but uh you know we will see and I will let you guys know all right but uh you know good fight compared to fight salute to both men for taking the fight for giving us this fight um you know let me know what you guys think man uh hope you guys made money off this fight uh let me know what you think and I'll check in with you guys soon. Thanks for watching.